Hi everyone, a bit of a different view today. Um, this is on my desk that I'm going to go through with you and show you the bits and pieces that I've got. Um, I'm still tidying up and I just happen to have, if you can see her, a little tiny dog down here. Hello, asleep on my feet. Yeah, I think you can just about see her moving around. <laughs> so, yeah, just put the flash on. And you can just see our little tiny wolf just asleep. Hello, Millie Moo. We're going to say hello to everybody. Tiggle that to me. Tiggle that to me. Hey, nope, she's out for the count. Yep, she's decided to join me for filming today. <laughs> oh, dear. The joys of uh, being a Scotty mum. Okay. Right, I will be uh, back in a second once I've got my phone back in its little hole there. I don't think she's going to move. Look, she's just completely splayed out she's not doing a rug impression today she's laid sideways and she's definitely not looking at the camera because she doesn't like a photograph being taken yay <laughs> okay i've even got my cup of tea in my scotty mug today yay cup of tea cup of tea and i don't like builder's tea oh, welcome to uh Red house this morning <laughs> Okay, first things first, just a few catching up bits and pieces to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday. Let me just move that out of the way a second. Um, of my storage. Um, yeah, I was shocked at how much storage I had. So I'm sure other people might have been as well. Unless you've got more than me. Ah, dare you admit that you've got more storage than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is excessive, I know. Um, and I will be donating and doing things with some of it. Probably not my favourite cases, but probably some of the little 28 storage containers because I don't really use them much anymore. But I've got this one out because I'd forgotten all about this. The fact that it is actually sat in a very prominent place in my craft room, staring me in the face all the time. Um, a bit like the large painting that I suddenly remembered about at December last year. <laughs> uh, for Christmas, yeah memory like a so it's similar to the elizabeth ward storage and this is what the lovely chris gave to me she couldn't get on with it so she decided that you know maybe i could use it and give it a go so yeah when i was going through all my storage and saying i think this is all the ones i've got it wasn't because this one was sat looking at me and i actually had some of the cases next to it still didn't twig that i'd not shown you this one so before i do anything else on this video i am just going to see how much these little containers hold i mean obviously this is the small container and um, if you look on happy mail friend mail um videos that i've done i do do like a, a full review on this one but yeah it has got an awful lot in it and it is the smaller ones um, these do come in all the different sizes and you can buy them in the different sizes as well. and these are the tiny containers you then also get small medium and large so i'm thinking possibly the small is double and maybe the medium is double again and the large double again i'm not sure but by measuring the small one, it just gives you a rough idea of what you can get in your other containers as well. As I said, I do believe that these are like a cheaper version of the Elizabeth Ward ones. So if you've got any of those, it, it's just giving you an idea of what you can hold. But I thought I'd just see how many drills I can get in this one. So then I have done a complete review of hopefully all of my storage containers. All right, she says, desperately trying to find a tray. Um, I found another horrible kit that I probably won't be doing that has got a lot of different colours in it. So let's have a look and see how many of these hold. So these aren't something that I've used. Um, they flip up. So they're, they're open rather than opening at the top or at the side or whatever. They flip up from the top there. And I'm not sure that I'm particularly keen on that. I think I'm too clumsy to use these. I uh, think, yeah, I'm going to, taking that lid off, I'm probably going to spill drills uh, and quite possibly knock it because I don't, well, I am exceptionally clumsy, what can I say? Okay, so let's just quickly see how many go in this. I better move my cup of tea out the way because otherwise I'm going to be, uh, yep, spilling that. Okay, so let's have a look. Right. So I hope everybody's doing okay today. We're having a bit of a mad day. 
uh, hubby decided he wanted to do some ugh, I've spilt already look this is because I'm about two foot away from my desk because Millie's so far under my feet and I don't want to move my chair and run over her tutties because she'll squeal at me and then not speak to me for days and uh, yeah she is due her booster at the vets later on this week and she hates the vets so uh, she's not going to be speaking to me anyway I'm spilling every single one of these packets this is not a good start but uh, yeah we have been busy this morning making rock buns yeah and the very nice rock buns as well so I will probably have one for my dinner because they are very filling and very nice these are going to hold a lot more than I thought I've only got 10 packs because I didn't think it would hold more than uh, 10 packs. The two, These are 200 packs the same. So I thought they would maybe hold, well, I didn't think they'd hold any more than 2,000. So we'll just have to see. Maybe it will hold more. Yeah, last time we went to the vets, um, we it was... I don't know if there was a lockdown or not. No, I don't think there was a lockdown last time. But I know that the time before that that we went um, during lockdown, we had to take her and we had to stay in the car and the vet nurse had to take her to see the vet. And the nurse was holding her. And before the, net, uh, before the vet even got near her with a needle, she said, and we heard her outside and we were laughing and I said, oh, that's Millie, because all these other people were looking a bit shocked because, you know, of course, there was other people sat in their cars as well waiting for the dogs. And I said, that's our girl. <laughs> she is such a baby. What can I say? Uh, yeah, she, I mean, the nurse came out and she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't even touched her. I wasn't holding her wrong or anything, but I had pre-warned them. She's a baby and she'll squeal. Um, they just weren't expecting her to squeal before she, the needle even came anywhere near her. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, she yeah, she had her booster, so yeah, she, that's due again this week. So that'll be this week's trauma. And yep, she does know the way into the vets. And sadly, there is only one road in and one road out. So it's not like we can go a different way. Uh, not that she can get out of the car, although I'm sure she would ideally like to. Right, so where are we now? We are going to get just about all of these in here, I think. So these actually hold, even though they are only small, hold more than the bottles, which I do find surprising. So, yeah, that is very surprising. Um, and you may or may not be surprised to know I have ordered two different lots of storage again. So I've got more coming. <laughs> Can you ever have too much storage? I'm just going to see if I can squish these last two in and then that will make 2,000. Uh, this is the ninth pack, so this will be 1,800 drills in here. And we'll see where we are. So I'm spilling all of them. Okay, oops, that's one that just run off the desk. Let me see if I can retrieve it before it escapes and disappears forever. No, I don't think, ooh, ah, now then, I didn't know that. So, there are little ridges on the side here for closing it, and I didn't realise that, so that's going to prevent that from closing properly. Right, so, 1,800 is a squidge, so it's really, it's eight packs, really, then, eight, uh, 1,600 drills, because if you try getting more in, then, uh, yeah, it's going to stop it from closing, which this has. Okay, so that's interesting to know. So this actually holds more or less the same size as your bottles as one of these, which I, I, know, well, mate, well, I wouldn't have thought that held as much, but it does. So there you are. That's just another little one to add on to uh, my little experiment. Okay, now what am I going to do with these? I'm going to get a bag. <laughs> what did I do with my bags? I'm going to grab a little bag and I'm going to put that in there so that I know that it's 797s that are all in here. I'm going to put all the spares that jumped out. You see, this is what happens when you get a, a new storage container and you don't know where the bits are. I should have thought about that. I was expecting I would get the 2000 in, judging by how full it was. 
now this is going to be fun to open and this is why I don't use containers like this because I'm not the best <laughs> yeah and some of them would stick on the lid so I'm just going to tip these out doesn't mean to say I won't use this because I think this is going to be quite handy let me just uh, get that little one that's hiding there in that little crease come on these uh, little drills do get everywhere and we'll put him back in with his friends in there. Oops, put him the right way around, Liz. Don't get it upside down. Right. And we'll put all these drills back in this bag. Yay! In you go. So, yeah, I could have edited the video and added it on extra, but there are quite a few people that have already watched it. So I thought, right, I'll just add it onto the beginning of this video so you can see what's happening. And again, many apologies to Chris. Um, I bet you're thinking, oh, she's got rid of my storage. I gave her that storage and it's gone. Uh, no, just uh, sieve brain Liz. Just completely forgot about it. So there you are. <laughs> right, let me just get these put away and I'll be back in a second. It's okay. So I've had two deliveries. Um, one delivery was my other brush from Decker Patch. Uh, well, it came from Amazon, but it is, again, the branded Decker Patch. This is great. This is, the, I've got it for sealing. Uh, and yeah, that is fantastic. It is so soft. I think you can just hear the bristles. But it's lovely, a real velvety soft brush, which is ideal for sealing paintings. You don't want something rough that's going to push all your drills out of the way. But it's a nice big surface area. Is that about an inch and a half maybe let's have a look uh yeah we're about an inch and a half about three and a bit centimeters of the uh, width of the bristles at the top there it's a nice thin one as well so as you're painting your sealer on you're covering a larger area so if you're doing a larger painting you need a bigger brush i would possibly even go bigger than this uh, but certainly on you know the paintings, the sizes and things and the specials that I do, this is great. It'll give a really good coverage and nice and soft. So the next um, video I do, I will be using this brush. Uh, as opposed to, if you remember, I did get the uh, really sort of, well, it's a rough one, shall we say. Uh, the smaller one, which I thought would be handy. But yeah, I think you can hear the difference. There as opposed to there, nice and soft and smooth. Yeah, a bit rough. <laughs> so that's my new brush that's come. Okay, and then this, it's not diamond painted, it's more related to uh, doing my YouTube channel and filming. Um, I finally took the plunge because there was a special offer on and I thought I'll have a look at this because I do want to start trying to do some whip and chats where i'm actually diamond painting i have done a couple but they've been really awkward to do um because i can't get my camera in the right place i can't see to diamond paint as you know my eyes are falling so i've got myself a couple of little bits oh and this is a huge box gosh that's heavy just for two little things and lots of paper in there but at least I uh, do recycle. Right, so let's see. This, I believe, is the stand for my phone. Right. Let's see what this looks like. Um, it was somebody in one of the groups said that they were, they were looking for a new stand for filming videos and things. And what did everybody else use? And somebody put a photograph of one of these. And I thought, oh, that might be good to use so it is exceptionally heavy i can't believe the weight of this gosh those so that's to keep it um in place without it falling over i suppose it needs to be heavy but that is really there's some weight to that i mean not so that you have to like and lift it off the desk but yeah there's a proper weight to that okay so it's one of these where it's like a, a stand um like a, a u-shape big u-shape and your phone goes in this uh, and it will go both ways as well i've quite often found that a lot of these 
you can only put your phone in one way and then you can't bring it down to look down uh, so that you're actually filming what's on the desk um, the sort of like portrait style rather than landscape okay so let's see if we can put this together this could be fun you know what my DIY uh, technique is <laughs> here and see what happens <laughs> so does this pull out does this extend at all let's have a look oh, that moves there okay did it come with any instructions did it heck <laughs> it's one of those things where i think i'm gonna have to have a look at the pictures on the website and see what it looks like right so this is like the u-shape uh, oh, ooh, they're different. Okay, so oh, that must go that way then. Right, okay. Now they're fixed in. It, it looks as though, oh, I suppose that's to give it some... Ah, that's so it locks in place. I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, you can. There's like a little bobble there that stops it from going too far. So as you're moving around, it just stops it so you can have it at whichever angle you want so that's pretty good and that is really really solid so let's see how this goes on here then uh, and then that has to connect onto there so does this go on the top that looks like that goes on there so how do I connect this on <laughs> does this come out at the bottom yes it does okay so that's going to go in there. Uh, for the second time in a row, I'm going to say this could all go horribly wrong. Second video in a row, I should say. So that clips onto there. I just think if I can get it high enough out of my way. Oh, that comes out of there. <laughs> so that's good to know. Ah, it does extend. Okay, that's good then. So you can actually have this, okay, quite high. And then that locks into place there. So that's good. Um, this needs to fasten at the back here to keep that in place there. I'm not doing anything too tight because I don't want to uh, have it falling over on me. This needs to come round this way. And then this little chap here. It's going to screw onto there. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, yeah, that's good. So I'm not putting anything too tight. So then your phone's going to, what's that bit there then? What's that for? Is that a lock for the phone? Is that just a piece? Oh, all right, okay. So let's take the bit of plastic out, see what that does. Right, so does this extend out? How does this... Ah, right, it goes that way. Right, so I don't think you'd get your phone in long ways, but you'll certainly get it in a um, portrait. Sorry, landscape. No. Ah, right, so you get your phone in and then you can put this at the front there. So phone will be in there looking down we've got quite a nice height and that can be at the back there Ooh, that's good i oh, know because i'm just going to say that's going to be in the way isn't it but the, the camera won't be up there will it it'll be here so that would be quite nice i think this is going to work out reasonably well why are they at that side why have i got this upside down I've got this upside down. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves a moment while I just... Uh... Oops, no, that's the wrong bit. <laughs> right, let's try that again and put the legs the right way around. <laughs> and there is actually a little dot there and a little dot there. So if you can just see that little, oh, that little dot there goes into that little groove oops goes into a little groove here 
so that you get it in the right place. Yay! Okay, try that again, Liz. Oh, do you know, I told you it could be a, a dangerous thing to do. Good job I didn't put the screws too tight. <laughs> hey, I never said I was good at uh, DIY. Right, so that's better. That's better. I was thinking, why aren't the pads on the bottom? <laughs> So maybe that stays in there then. Maybe I've pulled that out and you don't need to. So let's put that back in there. Yeah, I think that just helps cushion the phone. Oh, right, and that's to help pull it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So phone, we'll go in that way. You've got your little things to tighten it on this side here so you can tighten it so that it'll stay in place you've got the little tightener there to stay in place and one down here and then you can have it whichever length you like okay and then that just unscrews there so that you can just like a little clip on the side just one of those clips similar to um i think my tripod stand that i've got for my camera has these sort of uh, clips on it to keep it in place they're not always brilliant actually i have had them suddenly get lower and lower and lower down while i've been uh, taking pictures <laughs> so let's give this a quick measure okay so at the full length height is going to be what's this about 18 inches to uh, oh, right, okay, so from that's 15 inches, which is 39, nearly mm, 39 and a half um, centimetres. So let's, oops, let's just have a look how far your phone will be off the desk. Let's just pull it forward a bit. But I just thought this might be easier for doing whip and chats. And let's have a look. So we're looking at about 16 and a half inches, which is about 41 and a half, 42 centimetres. So it's quite a good size. These little feet on the bottom are nine and a bit inches, which is 23-ish centimetres and the width there is 11 inches which is 26 centimeters at the widest part if you have the legs widest open aware misses it's 46 and a half centimeters which is 18 and a quarter inches and of course you can just have it like that if you've got a smaller space so i think this is going to be pretty good they're like overhead uh, for doing whip and chats so yeah uh pretty good uh i'll put the price on the screen i can't honestly remember what it was i know i got some sort of deal on it i think there are various different ones but i thought i don't need one that's wildly expensive because i'm not doing anything that's wildly technical that needs it to be an exact um item really and then the other item that i've got to go with it this was again on special offer i've got a light okay now you can get these with a the light on but then i did think you're a bit more restricted as to where the light's going to be if it's already connected to the stand it's always going to be sort of next to your phone and i thought i'd sooner have one that's away from the phone or that i can move in different places or maybe move, use without using the phone stand so this is what I've got. Uh, oh, it is a bit smaller than I was thinking it was going to be. But if this works, then I will possibly invest in a little one. Okay, that's just packaging. I love the instructions you get with all these things. It's marvellous. <laughs> I know you have to go onto the internet and read everything these days, but it would be nice just to get a little leaflet. I suppose we're saving paper, aren't we? All the packaging that comes in with it, you know, everything's in bubble wrap and plastic wrappings. I don't think a little piece of paper is going to make that much difference, to be honest. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so looks like we've got a three-pronged stand, like a little tripod. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Just move that one out of the way a second. And then we've 
got uh, oh you can hand hold this one as well it's got a little hand strap on it that's strange <laughs> does this go in here then i don't think that extends up at all no it doesn't so i think yeah that's going to go oh we'll put this on here first Ah no, it's probably the hand strap so that uh, once it's folded up you can carry it around because that is probably um, a fairly generic sort of screw at the top there for using other items as well. So maybe a camera mount or something would go on there so you could use it for your selfie stick or whatever or your camera if you're doing that. Right, so then this goes on to there okay sorry that's not a very good oh it is telescopic not very good is it so then we've got yeah we've got 360 and turning on like a, a ball joint there so there's going to be quite a good movement on this i am disappointed that it is a little bit smaller uh, let's just put it down tighten that does that tighten it so it stays in place no it doesn't so which one's going to tighten it is it this one no that tightens that so how do we get this to stay in place must be this one yeah it is so let me just uh, do this that's got a little ah right that goes in there like that so you can put it downwards so, and then we need to tighten that to keep it there. So there's a lot of different positions on this. So I'm pretty uh, impressed with that. Uh, but then I suppose once you've got one of these, you can then have a play about and maybe it does other things. Oh, it's got a little remote control on it as well. So we've got all different settings. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's give it a plug in and see i've got a usb down here that's plugged in so let's see how this works why is it when you get a usb you always put it in the wrong way first is it just me does anybody else do that right so i'm sorry if you don't like flashing lights or whatever um look away now because i'm going to try and turn this on now oh look how bright that is wow that is really good Okay, uh, this is the same, I think it's the same size actually as my magnifying light, only obviously my magnifying light has got the magnifier in the middle as well, but that is a really good daylight, yeah you can see the difference in the colour there, that just shows how pale I really am, <laughs> I look nice and tanned sometimes in these lights, but yeah that is, uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, okay, so we've got a dimmer, very loud click as well so if you catch it by mistake you're not gonna uh you're gonna know that you've done it and then you can put it three four so we've got oh, we've got six then and that's the highest so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine then okay so there's ten then one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or ten different settings, and I can't quite see. I see my eyesight's not brilliant, uh, but yeah, that's really good. Um, and I'm pressing this has got a really long cord as well, which is helpful because sometimes you get these things and they only have a cord that's like I don't know, two foot long, and you think, well, that's not good. Where am I going to plug that in? But this has got a really nice long cord. Um, that's going right onto the floor and I've still got some wiggle room as well. So yeah, that's really good. Okay, so we'll have to see now whether I still get shadows by using this. And if this one works, then I think what I might have to do is get one at one side and one at the other side of my desk. Uh, how I'm going to fix them, because obviously if you get a bigger canvas, I need my whole desk, as you've seen, this desk isn't that big. Uh, I have got another desk that I'm going to try and put as an L shape, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, hmm. I might have to, actually the other desk might be bigger, so I'll have to see. But yeah, this is going to be my setup so far as to what I'm going to be doing. Okay, well, I think that's been quite uh, useful. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video. I say it's a bit different from 
what I normally do. Oops, sorry, just switched that off. Uh, but uh, to anybody that's a YouTube creator or thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I think it's maybe quite useful just to have a look at some equipment that you can get on uh, a reasonable budget. I think this was only about 15, 13, 15 pounds. I know I saw some in, um, we've got a shop called B&M and Home Bargains here in the UK, similar to like the shop, the range that I go to. And they had these on offer and I thought, well, I'll have a look on Amazon, um, you know, because you can send them back to Amazon if they're not right. I will be keeping this because actually that's for a small lamp that is giving out a lot of light. Uh, and I would think as well, if you doing like cross stitch or anything like that or your diamond painting that's giving out a really good daylight bulb a really good daylight uh, feel so yeah i'm uh, pretty impressed with my little buys okay well uh i hope you've enjoyed just having a look at this real ad hoc video <laughs> just something a little bit different we've had a little bit of storage a little bit of video making and a little bit of brushing <laughs> Uh, well, normal service should be resumed tomorrow. If you have enjoyed this video, as always, a thumbs up is much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next. And if you press that subscribe button in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.